Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Yeah, Bitcoin continues to be in this sideways range. It has been a pretty boring day, not much movement. Um, the altcoins, some of them sold off quite a bit, um, but Bitcoin is just moving sideways. Okay, so it started to look promising today, but now Bitcoin is moving sideways again. Um, there is a small addition here. I've added some micro counts, some micro counts to the chart um, for circle wave three to the downside. The yellow wave count remains in control. Um, the price reacted to our resistance area here and formed potentially, potentially five waves down off the recent high. So I might have formed five waves down off the uh, Wednesday high here. I would prefer, to be honest, one more low yeah, to form clear five waves, but it's okay, it's a pretty small wave degree. And therefore, I already added resistance to the chart and communicated already to channel members already earlier today that um, resistance um, is here between 28,571 to 28,819 for this potential wave to pull back in circle wave three. It's down there somewhere. So against against resistance, the focus can be on lower against the 28,820 level, basically, yeah. Now, is wave one already finished or not? That's a little unclear. I would say, you know, with this size of um, consolidation here, possibly yes, but that doesn't mean that wave two needs to be finished, okay? So I would um, suggest that we might get a larger ABC structure here. So let me put that onto the chart, possibly here an A wave, a B wave, and the C wave, bear in mind, this is really, really micro counting again, but yeah, Bitcoin isn't really doing much. So it makes sense to do a bit of micro counting. That's not too reliable though. So be aware um, that this can easily change, but we focus on lower against 28,819. Um, I think we have a good chance that we go a little higher in wave two and test this resistance area before we'll possibly see a bit of a rejection in here. This is at least what would be preferred. And I have to tell you, if we break above 28,819, we are going to just reset circle wave two. So this resistance area all the way up to $29,502, it is still relevant. It's still relevant if the smaller one breaks, then, I mean, it's basically within the large one anyway, but <clears throat> we would get some clarity above 28,820 that circle wave two was probably never finished and we'll just move a little higher here. And then we have a very complex correction here again, uh, possibly A, B, and then the larger C wave to the upside. That's precisely the price action that we have to deal with here. Very, very choppy, surprising price action, okay? But don't let anything surprise you. I mean, support levels break, resistance levels break. That's just what they do. But they tell us in which scenario we are um, yeah, moving in, right? So yeah, possible five waves down, but I'm not, I'm not too hopeful yet. Um, cause as I said, ideally one more low, uh, would have been made to confirm a clearer wave one. And now I'm watching for a potential wave to retrace before the party can start in a third of a third wave breakdown. Now, you know, we, we've had that situation now a few times and Bitcoin didn't really, and the bears didn't really take control to drive the price down in a third of a third wave. So it's worth to be skeptical about this, of course, until we have some further evidence. And again, you know, it takes, I mean, first, firstly, we need to break below sort of this support range here, which I would say, I mean, sort of structural support, yeah, which is sort of here, I would say between the area of 28,180 to 28,050. That's sort of the first step. Then we get to the next key level at 27,650, and then we can get down to 26K. These are sort of the key levels that I am watching. This is not yet impulsive to the downside of the recent high. Therefore, I think we might still be here in wave two of three, but then ideally the party starts in the next few days, maybe a third wave breakdown, then a wave four weekend, who knows? Um, but you know, I, I just want to get out of this range. Bitcoin is just crazy how stable it is at the moment and um, how boring, you know, Bitcoin has now been in this overall range for what is it? A couple of months, maybe. Yeah, I think so since August and really, really boring. Overall, the assumption is still that, um, we ideally see a move to the downside into the 22,000 
to $24,000 area in this wave C of Y of 2 before we can see a recovery. If we see a recovery earlier and we see five waves to the upside, then I will let you know because then we can put a three wave pullback support area onto the chart. But at the moment, nothing um, clearly bullish visible here, but it is consolidating at a pretty high level. Nevertheless, um, you know, it's, it's just consolidation. So it's holding resistance below resistance. And let's see if this resistance will stop the price. And then ideally we start to see a bit of downside movement. I mean, the altcoins are suffering while Bitcoin is just moving sideways. And my preference on the smaller time frame would be that we see possibly here a little bit of a move to the upside into resistance before coming down. And then, you know, on the smaller time frame, first piece of evidence that the move to the downside is occurring would be a break below the B wave low here at 28,204. That would at least be first evidence that here this wave two is over. But obviously first we need to move a little higher at the moment. This could still form some kind of a triangle here. Yeah, but there is really not much more to add, uh, run out of things to say after such a boring day. So I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. And if you're interested in the S&P 500 and some stocks, then check out the S&P and stocks and shares um, service that we offer now um, via Patreon. So you can find the link in the description. And yeah, have a great day. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.